Good evening and welcome to Hope for the Family with Evangelist Mary Antonia Ide. God is good all the time. We praise God for bringing us together again this evening to study the Word and to enjoy fellowship with our God and with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and with the Holy Spirit. We believe in the Trinity that we have three persons in one God. Hallelujah. Amen. We cannot change that. That's the way it is. We have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. As Jesus, Jesus Christ ascended into heaven, God sent the Son, God the Son, to help us. God the Father came in the flesh in our Lord and Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ to redeem us from the kingdom of hell. When we are sinning, to bring us back to Him in the name of Jesus. So we thank God that we have saved everything that the Word says about our God. We believe that our God is right here with us, that when we come before Him, that our God indwells the praises of His children. So we have come before God today with confidence in us, knowing that our God will not turn us back in Jesus' mighty name. As we come before God, let us take a moment to reflect on ourselves. There are things that we have done that are contrary to the will of God. Let us ask God to have mercy on us. At this time, we are going to go before the presence of God to pray and ask God to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank, we thank you for being our God. We thank you for bringing us before your presence this day because we know that there are so many places that would have been at this time. But your spirit prompted us to come before you, to study your word, to be filled with wisdom, to receive power, to go, so that we can go out to represent you, to do your will in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we know that in your presence that we will be filled with joy and we will receive everything we need, O Lord God, that we help us to be your children before the world in Jesus' name. As we have come before you, we ask for forgiveness in ways we have sinned against you, Lord God Almighty. As you have forgiven us, help us to forgive everyone that has sinned against us, our God. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness to us. As we go into our section of Bible study, we invite your Holy Spirit to help us to take control of everything we are going to do now. Holy Spirit, come in, indwell amongst us, dwell inside of us, and help us. Open our eyes to take out from our passages that we will study this evening what we need, what we can use to improve ourselves and the people around us. Enlighten our minds and help us to understand the will of God concerning us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for everything you have done for us. Be thy exalted, O Lord God, in the heavens above, and let your glory be upon the earth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God loves us so much that when we come to him the way we are, that he will not send us away. Let us believe that we have a God that is faithful to do everything he said he will do in our lives. He will never turn us back in the name of Jesus, but we must come believing that God will accomplish his way in our lives. But without them, we will not see the power of God working through us or in us in any way. Because God will not work with anyone that is double-minded. Let us be firm in our purpose. Let us know what we want. We will come before God and we ask Him, believing that we will receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Before we go into our Bible study today, I want to sing a song. It's a Roman Catholic song. It's usually a song sung during the Holy Communion. We are not breaking bread now, but this song can minister to us even right now. We will sing it. It's been ministering to my spirit all day, to my soul all day. And I want to share it with you. It's one of those songs I learned. I grew up as a Roman Catholic. And I still have a lot of the teachings in me. So I want us to be blessed with this song in Jesus' mighty name. I don't know who wrote it. Uh, but we know that every song written on behalf of the kingdom of God will be a blessing to all of us. No one is laying claim to it. I'm not laying claim that it's mine. Someone wrote it, but I'm using it to bless me and to bless you all by singing it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If the writer is still alive, this is the work of God. We pray that you understand that this is to bless the kingdom, not for anything for profit. And uh, may God bless you as you sing your song in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is called Sons of God. Oh, Sons of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are the children of God. Yes, that's who we are. Let us believe that we are God's children. Amen. Sons of God, 
we sing a song of hope. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We the church we celebrate. Jesus coming, we await. So we make a holy day. So we live forever. Sons of God, yeah, it's only one God around the table of the Lord. It is body drink is blood, and we sing a song of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. As I said, sang that song, it reminded me of my childhood. So many people I knew that invested in my group, in my spiritual group. They are no longer here, they've died, and they have gone. It brought a little bit of sorrow into my heart, but the confirmation that they knew God and that they are rested in the Lord. I remember when we used to attend our Bible children ministry, that's what we call it nowadays, but we, it used to be the charismatic movement in the Roman Catholic Church. When after church or before service, we go in there, join our sessions and we pray. I remember when I was a member of the Legion of Mary through my days in high school, secondary school, when we go to clean the church, then we gather together children between the ages of nine and a half, ten to probably sixteen who pray. When the Reverend Sisters will lead us in prayer before the statue of Mary. I remember when um, late Father Obaifu from my country, Nigeria, we come to pray with his hands with us. I remember when Reverend Sister Mary the principal of my school, the school I attended, would lead us in prayer in the morning. Sister Margaret, who invested in our lives, that during our prep, when we go to study in the afternoon, preparing for the next day, that at least 30 minutes of the day, she would take us into the assembly hall, where we sing, just sing songs to God or praise to God. I remember Sister Margaret, the investment she made in our lives. We thank God for all those beautiful men and women that did so many things for us to bring us to the places where we are today in the Lord. I remember my family as we grew up, how in the night we all gathered together to pray. And pray that the angels of God will surround us and keep us safe as we go to bed. I remember my local parish where I grew up in Benin City, Nigeria, St. Augustine Parish. I remember the big parish, Holy Cross Cathedral, on Mission Road, where we started from before we moved to our parish. I remember Pastor Anthony, who married me out to my husband. Not Pastor, but Reverend Anthony, who married me out to my husband. I remember the great men and women of St. Augustine Parish, Auntie Maria. May I so rest in perfect peace. I remember I remember my mom, Miss C. Okubenje. May God so rest in peace. I remember my father and so many people, my brothers and sisters out there, friends who invested in our lives. And today I remember my pastor, the pastor of my church here in the United States, Pastor Jason Avarice. I remember so many people that I may not be able to mention their names that have been connected to in one way or the other, spiritually, through my journey, through life, and all the investments they've made in my lives. We are all children of God. Let us hold on to what God has done for us. And let us now tell of the goodness of God to the generations that are to come. The ones that are here and the ones that are coming. So that they will know what God has done for us. That this, this investment that people have done, put in our lives, the things people have done for us, that they are not wasted. That the fruit of righteousness can come out from us. We will give ourselves to God as instrument of righteousness to use. I know that all of you listening to me, that you all can also remember things that you have done through your lives. The people that God used to bless you, the people that corrected you, the people that, that, that helped you, and today the people that are still helping you. 
to all of them, we thank God. We thank God for everything that He did for us, for bringing us to the places where we are in our lives today that we can trust God and hold on to the Word. We thank God because God did it Himself, not anything, not by our own effort, but God Himself put that seed of righteousness in each one of us, and we are able to listen to what people are saying, and we grow spiritually in the name of Jesus. Today's session, I want us to just bless God and to thank Him for everything He has done for us. To thank Him for our families, for our friends, for our nations, for everyone that has invested in our lives in one way or the other. As we do that, I want to read a psalm that came to my mind today also. And that psalm 84. There's something I want to bring out from that, from that psalm, which I got from my pastor, Pastor Jason Averroes, recently. I want you to know that when we pass through difficult times in this world, when we, there's sorrow and we think, think that we are alone, that God is not there with us, that through our sorrows we dig, we, we dig deep soil, uh, we dig deep into the ground, deep roots, that when we dig into the ground, that the time that from there when you dig deep, what happens, what that comes out, that as we are digging into the ground, digging into the soil, into the earth, as we are passing through difficult time, at a time we come when there will be season of refreshment, that water is going to come out from there as you refresh us. So, no matter what you are passing through, let us know that in that difficult moment of our moments of our lives, that God will be right there to help us in the mighty name of Jesus. That though we may be crying now, but the time a season will come of refreshing. That's the God we serve. That in our sorrows we will find comfort, no matter what it is. We are going to pass through. We are building valleys. We are digging deep into the ground right now. And from there, there's going to be water. Water will spring up. And we have a lot of water from that dry ground to refresh us. To take care of our situations in the name of Jesus. To give us the strength we need. So that we come out strong and one day we too will be giving consolation to somebody that is passing through a difficult time in the name of Jesus. That, that's what God does for us. Let us trust God. Let us hold on to God. Knowing that no matter what happens, right in the storm of every, every situation we pass through in life, that God will be right there with us to help us. We receive strength from God in Jesus' name. He may be strengthened, children of God. Be encouraged. Know that God loves you. Hold on to the world. Hold on to the world. Pray. Pray. And know that God will answer your prayer. Never you doubt in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 84. From the director of music, according to the, I believe this one is gifting, giftings of the sons of Korah, a psalm. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty! My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Amen. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young. A place near your altar. O Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. We are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose, whose strength is in you, who have set their hearts on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength, till each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, O Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, O God of Jacob. Look upon our shade, O God. Look with favor, favor on your anointed one. Better is the one better is one day in your courts than a thousand a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shade. 
the Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from all those who walk, whose work is blameless. O Lord Almighty, blessed is the man who trusts in you. Amen. Our God has provided a dwelling place for us. Let us trust God. He is our dwelling place. He protects us against everything that is outside there that can destroy us. Let us remain in the place where God has provided for us. That even this power, the birds of the air, they find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord. If the sparrow can, if they have enough wisdom to fly around and come to the house of the Lord to find a dwelling place, what about us that were created in the image and likeness of God? God loves us. That's the natural place of our world for each one of us. Where God wants us to live in, where God wants us to rest in, He wants us to abide in His presence, is our dwelling place in the name of Jesus. And when we are there, God covers us and keeps us safe from the evil one in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Verse 4 states that blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. When we dwell in the house of God, we are blessed and we should forever bless God. Uh, bless God. We should forever praise Him. The praise of our God should come out from our mouths because God has done mighty things for us. He's our God. Hallelujah. Amen. When we have tested and seen the goodness of God, there's no way we can keep it to ourselves. The joy we have from within should make us jump up and just start to praise God and thank Him for the things that He has done for us in the name of Jesus. Because when people hear what the good things God has done for us, they will turn to our God so that He will receive the glory in everything in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Has God been good to you? Testify about the goodness of God to the people around you so that they will come and taste and see the God that you know in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Verse 5. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, who have set their hearts on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, that's where I want to stress today. Where they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. What I learned from my pastor is that the valley of Baca is a very dry place. That the land, a waterless land, dry. But and that's how it is when we pass through swamps. So when we are passing through a difficult time, it's like we are passing through a very dry place. But you know, when we have faith. I read some commentary before I came on today to, to find out about this valley of Baca. That in that waterless place, like a wasteland, that when the people are passing, the people of Israel are passing through that place to Jerusalem during pilgrimage, that the faith they have in God makes a place that is so dry and waterless to be a place that springs of water starts to come out from, pour out from. God refreshes them in, even in that very dry place. That was, that's what happens to us. That when the rain, the autumn rain pours, that we need to see how busy that dry valley turns out to be. We receive strength from God in our dry times, the time we pass through sorrow. We dig those deep wells during, as we pass through Baca, the dry land, barren line, land that has nothing. But we are digging deep wells. Deep, deep wells. That are going deep into the soil, deep into the earth. And when we continue, water will come out. And the water is going to refresh us in the name of Jesus. We are going to receive strength. The experience we pass through is going to make us new people that have more trust in God. And our hope that we'll see the goodness of God in this land. This land, this very land of the living, will not be cut short. And our hope. That one day we will hear it because internal kingdom of sin will not be called short in the name of Jesus. Amen. So understand what is happening to you spiritually. What happens to us spiritually when we pass through difficult times. When people turn their back against us. When suddenly things just turn around and we say, God, where did this come from? At that time, as you see them, 
That's why the Bible said that though we may endure in the evening, we come in the evening, but in the morning there's rejoicing because we cannot be in that situation and we, we just remain sorrowful forever. That's not God's plan for us. Everything is a season. So in that time of difficulty, you are giving, you are growing spiritually. You are passing through a spiritual experience that is preparing you or preparing us for what God has for us in future in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God is faithful. Our God will always be with us no matter what we pass through in this world. Those experiences will not crush us. We will hold on to God. We are going to come out of them and we we'll use them to testify about the goodness of God to the people around us in the mighty name of Jesus. We are with today. Is anyone passing through the valley of market? Know that God is right there with you. That you are going to grow roots. You are going to grow deep. You are going to find springs of water that will refresh your soul in the name of Jesus. You are going to receive strength and you are going to come out strong from that experience in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to testify about the goodness of God to the nations in the name of Jesus. Each of us has passed through different things in this life. And through it all, we know that God was with us. Our God is faithful. He will never turn his back against us. Let us hold on to the word of God in the name of Jesus. He said, Blessed are those whose strength is in you. Verse 5. Who have set their hearts on pilgrimage. That blessed are those whose hearts are on you. Who have set their hearts on pilgrimage. We are all passing through pilgrimage in this world. Whether we are in Jerusalem or wherever we find ourselves in. For the word of God says a time will come when the true worshippers of God will worship in spirit and in truth. And a time will come when people will not have to be traveling all the way to Jerusalem. It is good if we can go on pilgrimage there because we see everything. We have our Lord Jesus Christ who was born and everything concerning him. We see then then it has its own very special spiritual experience. We all look all forward to going to pilgrimage in Jerusalem. But wherever we are, let us know that we are also passing through pilgrimage in this world. That we are in the journey. So as we pass through the journey of world uh, of this world, and experiences come our way, different things we pass through. That through them all, we are learning in the name of Jesus, and we, we hold on to God that we are blessed. Hold on to the word of God as we pass through them, believing that God will see us through this world in Jesus' mighty name. That's what God is going to do for us. Let us be filled with faith. Let us never doubt in the name of Jesus. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. Hallelujah. It's only one that has faith that will pass through a barren and dry, waterless land and make the place a valley of spring in the mighty name of Jesus. As we pass through the valley of Baca in this world, whatever Baca presents itself to us, in whatever form and manner, let us hold on to the word of God. Let us have faith to make it a valley of spring in the name of Jesus. That that dry and barren land that experience that we're passing through that is so dry and barren that there's nothing good about it. That with the faith we have in us, we make it a valley of springs in the name of Jesus. That a song we spring forth from our mouth is testimony of the goodness of God. That we show the world that yes, we have a God that we can rely on. A God that will never fail us. That we do not doubt the goodness of God. That this valley of Baca will not crush us, that will not destroy us. That we are able to turn everything around with the power of God that is within us to make it a valley of spring, spring of fresh water, fresh water that will refresh us. Psalm 23 states that God refreshes us every day. Psalm 1 states that we are like a tree that is planted by the riverside. Do we believe that we are actually trees planted by the riverside? That's what we are. If God says it, I take this testimony and hold on to Him and I believe. That yes, truly, that my God refreshes me every day. So if God refreshes us every day, and we are passing through that valley of battle, even through that difficult time, we are being refreshed in the name of Jesus. We are able to turn a barren and waste land, dry land that has nothing, into springs of living water. The Bible says from our belly we spring forth springs of living water. Let us hold on to every promise of God and believe that God himself can do what he can do in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. They will never doubt God. In Jesus' name, amen. That verse 7 says, says that they go from, from strength to strength. To strength. See, each appears before God in Zion. Amen. 
we continue to go from strength to strength because we have faith to believe that that valley, that dry valley will pass through. So we turn into spring of evil water and each of us will appear before God in Zion. Hallelujah. Amen. Zion is right here in our homes, wherever we are. If we go on actual pilgrimage to Jerusalem, Zion is there. We are the children of God. The Spirit of God dwells in us. We are the temple of the Most High God. Let us know what we are and what we have in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 8. Hear my prayer, O Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, O God of Jacob. Look upon our shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. Amen. That's our prayer today, Father Lord. That's our prayer as we come before you, Lord God Almighty. Through whatever experience we are passing through, we know you are God, that you are a covenant-keeping God, that you will not turn your back against us, O Lord God Almighty. Hear our cry for help, Jehovah God. That as we pass through this dry valley, Jehovah God, that we will find help, that we will turn into springs of living waters in the name of Jesus. That our souls will be refreshed, O Lord God. That we grow from strength to strength. Father, we have come before you. God who shows mercy and compassion to your children. Our God, you have said that nothing can separate us from your love. We believe, Father, that in everything, that you turn everything around to be for our own for our blessings, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we do not doubt you. We know you are God. We know that you have seen the situations we are in right now. Father, we have come to you just the way we are. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done in our lives, O Lord God. Let not the enemy triumph over, triumph over us. Let them be sent back in shame that lift up their voices against us. They that refuse to repent of their evil deeds, let them be separated from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, confuse them, Father Lord. Send them back in shame. Let your will be done in our lives. We put our trust in you. We surrender our families to you, our, our spouses, O Lord God, our children, O Lord God. Everything we have, you are our God. Echo pass us around with your holy presence. Father, we bless you in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. We believe that from within our bellies, spring of living, springs of living water we, 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 we flow, we overflow in the name of Jesus. We receive every promise you have spoken about us from the, the word. Father, we hold on to the word in the name of Jesus. We thank you, our Father. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Verse 10 states that better is one day in your courts, O oh Lord, than a thousand elsewhere. Than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than dwell in the tents of the wicked. Hallelujah. We have nothing to do with the wicked. Let's be doorkeepers in the house of the Lord than for us to dwell in the tents of the wicked in the name of Jesus. For someone states that the congregation of the wicked has been separated from that of the righteous. That God knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads unto destruction. That the wicked are like chaff that the wind blows and they do not know where they go to. We are not like them. We are the children of God. We cannot be found amongst the wicked in the name of Jesus. We have no business with the wicked. We are God's own children. In Jesus' name, amen. For the Lord is a sun and shade. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold. Hallelujah. God will not withhold any good thing for us in the name of Jesus. We will receive the favor of God. We enjoy the goodness of God in the land of the living. The boundary lines are falling on us in pleasant places in the name of Jesus. We have faith to turn the ugly situation into blessings for us in Jesus' mighty name. Because we have the power of God in us walking through us to accomplish the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. From those who walk in that... Let me see. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk, whose work is blameless. For us to enjoy the goodness of God, our work must be blameless. So when we come before God, let us ask for forgiveness in ways we have sinned against him. Let us examine ourselves. Let us not deceive ourselves. If there is any unrighteousness in us, God will not hear us when we call to him because we do not know God. Our God is holy. And he said we must be holy unto him. Our God knows our weaknesses and knows that we will fall into sin and temptations. And that's why he gave Jesus Christ his son that to us as a gift to us to save us from the kingdom of 
darkness to bring us into his marvelous light. Salvation has been fully given to us through the grace of God. Do we have faith to receive that which God has given to us so that we enjoy all the blessings of God? Let us repent of our sins in any way that we are falling short of the glory of God so that we enjoy every good thing that God can do in us and through us. In Jesus' name, Amen. O oh Lord God Almighty, blessed is the man who trusts in you. Do you trust in God? If you trust in God, you are blessed. Blessed is the man who trusts in God. May we trust God, believe in God, and hold on to the word of God in the name of Jesus. Let's not exclude ourselves from anything that God has given to us, so freely given to us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. This brings us to the end of our session this evening with uh, the reading of the psalm. I'm going to continue with 1 Corinthians 7, the part that I left from verse 25 to the end later on, not today. That's going to be tomorrow by the special grace of God. But I pray that each of us today, that we go down to this one, that as we pass through that wasteland, that dry land, that water, barren and water, uh, waterless land, where we continue to praise God and believe that God, we have faith to believe that God is, will, be, will help us, that we turn that wasteland, that barren land, into springs of living water. So whatever our experiences are today, let us have faith to believe that God will move on our behalf and God will help us to be the children that he has created us to be. That our backer, the valley of backer that we are passing through will become springs of living water that will refresh us, not just us alone, but the people around us. And we will receive strength from God to continue to run the streets that God has set before each one of us in the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. We know that God loves us all. Let us go about just find the goodness of God to the people around us so that they will know our God and they will also come to test the goodness, to test our God to see his goodness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's just pray before we leave. Father, we thank you for bringing us to the end of our Bible study today. Thank you, God, for opening our eyes to know that even if we pass through a dry, barren, and waterless land, that if we have faith, Lord God, to believe that we can turn the situation around for the good that it will be to us according to our faith. Every battle that any of us are passing through today, Father Lord, we turn into springs of living waters in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we will come back with our testimony of what you have done in our lives and what you will continue to do through us to reach out to the nations in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Never you doubt. In Jesus' name. Amen.